So I'm here with my young old friend, Scott Franklin. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. We're in my messy backyard at Hotel Fint. We're in the middle of a little treehouse construction project. And right behind us is the solar panels that your company, Lighthouse Solar and Lumos, uh, installed eight years ago. Yeah. I have never done any maintenance, ever. Is that okay? That's pretty typical, yeah. Yeah. No moving parts, just make electrons. Yeah. It's pretty simple. So we uh, created this structure. A lot of people think you have to put your solar panels on your roof. Um, and a lot of times that is ideal because it's high up. But why do, you, why do you do this? So we use this idea of what we call soloscapes for installations where the roof is not ideal because of orientation, tilt, shade, shade obstructions, or other. And also this provides, you know, a place to hang your sky chairs, your hammocks. Right. Shade right. can be used for varieties, you know, we build carports, canopies, right. pergolas. So you could put one right over your Tesla or your car. Your hot tub. Hot tub. Exactly. So, and this seems pretty small, but this powers a lot of my house. I yeah. mean, sometimes I actually get money back. Yeah. Um, so for people out there who want to get solar on your house, how much does it typically for your, say, average house? I don't know, 2,000, 3,000? I don't know what the average it's house is. It's hard to say. I mean, you know, out-of-pocket expense, could, it's such a huge wide range. I really sure. hate to answer that question. It we'll depends say, on rebates. It depends on a lot of factors. Right. So it's like asking, hey, I've got a 3,000 square foot house. How much yeah. is it going to cost to furnish it? So it really depends, it but really say 10,000 bucks, to $10, five to 10. Yeah. Out of pocket. So that's amazing for five to 10, you get your own power plant. Yeah. And you own the energy for life, right? It's not just you're renting it. Yeah. Like when you buy your energy today, you pay the bill every month, every month. And yeah. if you don't pay the bill, there's no more energy coming in. Right. When you buy solar, you're fixed the cost of energy in today's dollars. Yeah. And that's it. And if you're a Republican, Libertarian, Democrat, whatever, Solar panel basically means that you're getting outside of the entire system of kind of this morass and corruption that we just dis discussed in the longer video if you want to watch it. So it's kind of a statement of independence and... It is. I mean, it's really cool to make your own energy, right? I mean, it's the ultimate local sourced yeah. production, right? It's like having your own farm to make food, backyard. So if I'm your, a first-time customer, I don't know anything, I say... I want to do something like this. What do I, how does that work? You guys come by and just install it? Yeah, it's more or less. We just come by and install it. Yeah. The way it starts is we look at the usage of the home by looking at the utility bills. Right. Size of the system, see what kind of, what the amount, appropriate amount of energy you need to offset right. your, your usage. And then we look for the property site. You know, is it going to fit on a roof? Is it going to be a structure outside? Listen to what the customer's goals are and needs. And right. then find a solution. So the whole no maintenance thing kind of blows me away. There's yeah, I nothing mean, I we need never to do. say no maintenance, but the sure. solar systems, PV, solar electric systems, are virtually no maintenance uh -huh. because this has got a very simple basic electronics. So yeah. all the work's really happening here. This is where we're converting the DC energy coming out of the system into AC to feed back oh, into the house. that's what this does? This is called the inverter. So this converts uh -huh. those. Uh -huh. um, cool. Uh, if you're a renter, is there anything you can do in terms of getting solar in your life? Yeah, there's right now in Colorado, the best thing would be a solar garden. You can basically buy a share of a solar garden. Um, so it would be owning a system somewhere else. So exactly. if you're a renter, you can participate as well? There's ways, yeah. yeah. They're not necessarily the easiest or most economical, but you can do it. Uh -huh. um, and generally, the reason to go solar, which we didn't even touch on, it seems so obvious and basic, is what? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. You know, one, from a, a social standpoint, right, making energy locally is, is very attractive. Yeah. From an energy security standpoint, from a pollution standpoint, from... There's no pollution, right? With there's, solar? No, there's no... Yeah. There's no noise pollution. There's no air pollution. Right. There's no... No drilling. Um, no drilling. There's nobody, no wars fit, you know, fought. Nobody died to make your electricity. No wars. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like buying a, a well. You just bought a, a well, essentially an oil well, except you know it's going to produce. I, you can predict exactly how much it's going to produce for over 25 years. Right. So you're, you're buying all your oil guaranteed. And the cool thing you pointed out is in Colorado, we have 300 days of sunshine a year, but Germany is the number one producer in the whole world. They're as dark, you were saying, as Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, exactly, or yeah. So it's really, if you're in Portland, Seattle, it doesn't matter. North Dakota. I mean, New Jersey is the number two solar state. Really? New Jersey is... We love solar. 
Solar is huge. Exactly. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Did not know. Yeah. All right, huge. Scott Franklin, Solar 101. Do it. Light it up. Look on the bright side of things. Mm -hmm.